Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining Your Mechs, episode 4, a follow-up on testing the Wismec RX Machina. I was doing some playing around after doing the previous video, and I had the resin sleeve off, and I was doing some very hard chain vaping type simulations with a low resistance build, and I swear, one part of it got really hot. Um, it, yeah, maybe it was a burr, and I just didn't realize it, a uh, metal burr, or maybe it was um, a tiny shock. But I figured, uh, let me fire up the uh, $99, who knows how many years old budget thermal imaging camera, which I kind of use to just aim at uh, heat sinks and circuit boards, just to get an idea of where the heat flow is and how even or uneven heat distribution is, and aim it at the machina, which is right here. And it's a drip tip in my right finger and thumb. And here on the left is the button. On the upper left hand screen you can see the highest temperature it's reading on the uh, field of view and the lowest temperature so it's 23C to 31C and then the points bouncing around will show you where the highest and lowest temperatures are so let's, oh I have um, eighth inch of uh, plastic covering the button on the bottom so my finger won't be heating up uh, the mech that's here and I've got the mech itself sleeve off wrapped in a layer of electrical tape because thermal cameras and infrared guns can't read the resistance of metal accurately. Metal is actually a very poor emitter of infrared radiation and the heat uh, infrared guns and imaging cameras are set up for very efficient heat radiators. So it reads metal temperatures too low, typically, unless it's uh, painted or something like that. Now I could cover this machina with black spray paint, matte black spray paint, but that's a pain in the butt. It's just easier to wrap it in a layer of tape. I'm not really interested, or I don't really care, that it's a couple of degrees off, uh, maybe five degrees C off at the most, between uh, what it actually is and what I read on the outside. What I care about is what its distribution along its length, and you can see if I leave my finger there, you can see the heat it leaves behind. Uh, where does it start heating up? Where does it stay cool? And for that kind of thing, putting the electrical tape on it so I can get a more accurate reading really, really helps, and I don't mind the couple of degrees that it's off. So let's go ahead and start applying the current. 30 amps is starting to flow now. And I thought somewhere in like an inch and a half from the bottom, two inches from the bottom or something, I thought I felt uh, some heat. And, <laughs> looks like it might be, maybe something over here. Oh, I gotta remember to lift it up. This was, uh, there's a hot spot, but I, that might have been down at the bottom. Okay, there we go. And you can see, look at it, it's already at, oh, it's having a hard time reading it now. So you can see that hot spot there. And then there's another one near the button, and I'll release. And anyway, the whole unit's getting a little hot. It's really not anywhere else except near the bottom, which is where the button is, so you think there'd be some heat there. Pressing again. See if I can... Uh, find a spot and it's uh, 60 doesn't seem to be rising now the button is spinning in my hand now there's another now it's showing unbelievable temperatures I'm gonna 100 degrees C and then it drops back down that's the strangest thing. I'm going to let go and see if this is hot. Okay, that's really hot. Okay, so what's... Ouch! Whoa! Okay, there was a hot spot back here also. Um, so this is capable of getting some really hot spots down primarily right along about here but also down where the button is, which makes a lot of sense. And what I'll do is I'm going to go back to a normal view and we'll take a look at uh, what's going on here and, and what might be happening. Okay, here's the mod. 
uh, without tape and without thermal imaging. So we've got these, I believe, aesthetic cutouts. Cost extra money, I'm not sure why they did that. You can see it through the sleeve. Um, but we saw some of the heating, I believe, right at these points where current flowing up through the mod enters this choke point. This is naturally higher resistance, it's less metal. And so we get localized heating here. Also, the cup, which is the button that the battery sits in, ends about here. Now, if this cup is not sitting perfectly centered, but is tilted one way or the other, just this little edge might be what's touching, maybe down at the bottom and then up along here somewhere, and that can concentrate the current, cause additional heating. And certainly, the threads can be a point where there's heating too, and we saw some of that. So th we can see some of the decisions they made. Now, all the heating is being generated down here, really didn't see anything up here, but because of these cutouts here and less metal, it's harder for the heat to actually go. So these cutouts actually prevent the heat from spreading and keeping this side cooler. Now I was doing some very abusive chain vaping and the thermal imaging was 30 amps continuous. That's just not gonna happen when you're vaping. So this is not some burning death trap that's gonna scar your hand with third degree burns. It's a, it's a decent beginning mech. There's really nothing to worry about there. You have the sleeve on it. It's just be aware of that if you start to feel it getting warm through this, it's probably damn warm through here, and you want to make sure nothing's happening to the wrap or anything like that of your batteries. But I think you'd have to be vaping like crazy with a very low build for that to happen. Otherwise, what we can do with this, looking at this, looking at the thermal imaging video, is to see the consequences of some design decisions, like these cutouts, uh, use of the cup, etc., at the different mods that I'll be visiting uh, with these tests, or that I'll be testing, and get an idea of what works best, what may not work best, and, and compare different mods. And uh, I hope we learn some interesting things from it. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching.